What's up guys, uh, welcome back. This is a new video and in this video we are going to talk about the Mi Band HRX edition. So it's almost 3 to 4 days I am wearing this band and this is not a review video because you know this is a very small gadget. This is not a smartphone, there are a lot of choices available and you need a specific review and comparison. On this pricing, on this particular category that is on the fitness, there are likely one or two good manufacturers who are making this thing. So probably I will say this is the only choice left with you in case you wanted to buy a fitness band. So, that I will cover something in new video. Maybe I will give you guys some tips and tricks. I'm still working on some stuff like you know how to pair with the Bluetooth stuff. All the features are working or not. So just wait for one or two days. I will show you guys all the details. But, but the important thing is that so since this device is IP67 border uh, certificate, so uh, we have to verify whether really IP67 stuff is working or not. So because in different situations, you know, since this is banned, it is going to come more in the, con in the contact with the water. On a day-to-day -day activity, if you're going to outside for you know, if it is raining or if it is swimming, so all the cool stuff. So I'll be showing you a couple of you know water tests. Maybe the first we'll see this uh, shower test whether you know this can survive or not. Whether you can really use this pan under the shower or not. And after that, uh, since this device is IP67, that means we can have it in this in the water up to 30 minute time, up to certain limit. So I'm not just going to put uh, you know up to the one meter, but in just shallow level of water. So I will show you guys 30 minutes of a water submersion test and followed by I will show you a 12 hour freeze test that means I am just going to freeze the device in the refrigerator that means until unless this complete ball is going to froze up then we will see whether this band is working or not so this is about durability and it and in case you guys are thinking why this is you not know, drop test because you know that doesn't make sense this is not a smartphone that you can simply you know just uh, lose it so please watch my previous you know dimension test that is very great since this is banned and the stripe is already very great so there is uh, you know i don't think so there is a chance you can just simply throw it out of your hand so i don't think this makes sense but the water thing is most important so guys let's get started and see the waterproof test for this mi band hrs edition so let's start our test with a shower test so that's a basic situation so this is probably just include all the you know things like you're going outside and suddenly rain or if you're just washing you know taking bath daily with this uh, shower or maybe you're doing household work if you're sweating a lot during your you know regular activities so probably small fractions of water may try to get inside your band but you know uh, i'll tell you guys from three to four days the day i had the band uh, from four days i'm taking shower each day and going for jogging activities both the morning and the night so probably things work and you guys have noticed that you know these things won't work the sensors won't work inside this water but I guess you're not going to use, you know, during your physical activity time, yeah, you, you're not going to keep on noticing what your steps and all those stuff. So basically, because you know the skins were not able to make contact with the touch sensor, definitely it's okay because the Galaxy phones are all the IP certified devices won't work inside the water in such a way. So let's move ahead to new thing. This is underwater test. So this is more important. IP67 means, you know, up to a meter of depth and at least for max 30 minutes, according to the company, should be working. So this is 6.29 p.m. So I'm just going to put it here. You know, guys, uh, whether it is uh, centimeters of the water, or maybe it's a meter of the water, it's okay. If water has to get inside, you know, it will get inside. So the more you go inside, the deeper the water pressure is only increased, but you know, the amount of water will be the same, same, you know, maybe any port is open. So this is a basic situation. I guess just uh, six inches height of this one. So I filled it with this slurry. So as you can see, I've just made a fast forward just to make sure guys everything should be proper and genuine. So you just notice on the clock or running on the Lumia 640 XL, you know, it's a good way to use a Windows device. At least you can use it for the clock stuff. So beyond that, you can see the mechanical keyboard. I'm just working on those things. So till now it is going great and small bubble drops are there. Maybe they are inside this band and this, you know, exact physical tracking device. I'm just changing the position here and there. Maybe, you know, uh, if you guys get something to know. So other than that, you can see till now it is working super great. No issues at all. So going great. Now we are about to complete the timing. Just a couple of seconds left. So eight to nine seconds more. We are exactly going to cross 30 minutes. Now we have crossed the 30 minute three, two, one. And there you go. Time to take it out and see whether this thing is really working or not. So completely is now 30 minute pass. So let's take it out the band and see. So uh, we have to just make it try a little bit. Otherwise, you know, this touch sensor won't work. So there it is now. Let's see if it is working or not. So yeah, oh my God, this is working great. So no issues with that because you know, I know that it's not going to work if something is officially water certified, you know, it should be working. So everything is working great. So now it is 96% and time is 7 p.m. Now the next thing is guys, the freeze test. 
it's almost 12 hour this me band is in this refrigerator so i'm just going to take it out and let's see how does it looks like so there you go this is your oh my god it's freaking freezing completely free so uh, where is our band so this is right here band so let's see whether this thing is working or not so yeah i can see something glowing on because you know there are so many white stuff are there that ice particles i'm not able to see it but yeah <laughs> it's glowing i can see the steps down inside all right guys uh, i got this bucket of water here this is uh, a slightly boiled water uh, not too much i guess just uh, 20 to 30 degrees max so since this is uh, you know a completely glass i'm just going to dip it for a moment maybe just to uh, dip it a little bit i am inside my house so that's why i cannot take risks of throwing it here because you know oh my god we got this thing back and look at that this is your uh, freezing me band inside this oh my god it's so cold I'm just going to drop it here because this is ice more or less so go oh, so guys this is it your watch it's perfectly working right here you can see we can still see the guns oh my god that's so crazy wow the battery is no battery is still 92 percentage when i kept that there it was 96 percentage now it is a 92 so holy crap that thing just worked oh man i guess uh, i kept that on some near on to 10 uh, pm in the night but still that crazy watch is still working so what's that actually so there it is guys your me band watch perfectly working even after water frozen zero meter tapped count because it just got reset on the day and 11 22 february everything working super cool so guys every test is passed so this device is pretty great uh, when it comes to the water obviously you cannot use this because you know uh, the sensors have limitation it cannot read your fingers or it, there is no direct contact to the skin so but you have to just uh, you know depends on some wrist uh, twist or this feature now in summary just a quick review so whether you suggest this device or not so yeah definitely on this price this is one of the great gadget you can get so in summary if you ever wanted to have a smart watch on your phone or, or an android wear so obviously this is not an android wear but definitely this device can give you a feeling of you know how does a smart watch or android wear can look like it will give you some set of features not all but it's a very great thing Again, it is IP67, all the cool stuff. So, just stay tuned for the channel for a complete review of the tips and tricks, like how you can fit it, if there is any issues, how to fix those things. So, guys, that's very. This is your Me Fitness Band HRS Edition. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Have a great day.